Our balance sheet formula is assets equals liabilities plus equity. Using a numerical example, let's say we have assets of $100 million equals to liabilities of $70 million and equity of $30 million. We then divide assets into short term and long term, which are current assets and non-current assets. We do the same for liabilities by dividing them into short term and long term, which are current liabilities and non-current liabilities. Finally, we have equity, which is always long term. Therefore, we just write it as equity. Based on our example, let's say we have $40 million of current assets and $60 million of non-current assets, which gives us total assets of $100 million. This is equal to $15 million of current liabilities and $55 million of non-current liabilities and $30 million of equity, which gives us total liabilities and equity of $100 million. Based on this formula, we can see that we have five variables, which are current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. This is useful to keep in mind as any finance or accounting related question may have four known variables and one unknown variable, meaning that this formula can assist in solving for the unknown. For example, we may need to solve for the current assets if the values of non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity are given. We can rearrange this formula further by moving current liabilities to the other side, changing its sign, and giving us a new formula of current assets minus current liabilities plus non-current assets equals non-current liabilities plus equity. Based on our previous example, we have $40 million of current assets minus $15 million of current liabilities plus $60 million of non-current assets, which is thus equal to $55 million of non-current liabilities plus $30 million of equity. We know that current assets minus current liabilities is called networking capital. Therefore, we can rewrite this formula as networking capital plus non-current assets equals non-current liabilities plus equity. Using another numerical example, let's say we have $40 million of current assets minus $15 million of current liabilities, which gives us a net working capital of $25 million. We then have $60 million of non-current assets, which is equal to $55 million of non-current liabilities plus $30 million of 